my dear friends and net aspirants welcome back so today we are going to learn about john crow ransom who lived from 1888 to 1974 so john crow ransom he is an important person in new criticism i hope you all know that and he is the one who uh, actually came up with the name for this particular theory known as the new criticism publishing a work in the same title okay all those details we will see later so if you have missed any of the previous videos you can watch all of them as a part of the playlist i have given that in the i button you can go to the i button and uh, uh, click it and and you can watch any of the previous videos that you have uh, happened to skip and if you are interested to have just like in youtube if you are interested to have more study materials free study materials for your ugc net preparation you can follow me on instagram my instagram id is legimaria90 it is right here and you can follow me there uh, in order to have free materials for net jrf preparation in a daily basis because i'm sharing lot of things in a daily basis and also planning to have many more things there use the full fledged use of every other facility is provided by instagram like i tv long videos short videos reels uh, and uh, some live session collaborative sessions as well and if you are looking for some online courses in your net jr preparations with comprehensible and simplified study materials and also in affordable prices you can go and visit my website www.highpoint.in and have the free trial and everything is clear there in the website you can have the courses from the website itself and uh, once you join for the courses with 15% of off going on now in the website you can have two bonuses free bonuses we are not charging anything for these bonuses right now like weekly test in every saturdays and personalized study guidelines so we are not just telling that we will provide you uh, personalized study guidelines but we will make you to fill a sir, fill a questionnaire uh, asking about your schedules and your preferences of topics and all and according to that we will prepare one and we will share that with you and it will be revised as you progress in your studies okay we also maintain a whatsapp group in which i am sharing daily quiz question and answer and uh, we are actually having um, you know news and updates in that whatsapp group and some study materials you can definitely join that whatsapp group if you are interested the link is there in the description box you can click it and join or if you feel difficulty then you can directly message i'll be sharing the link and you can directly freely easily join the group okay so don't forget to visit these platforms where i am frequently available and if you have any doubts regarding the courses the bonuses or anything related to net jr of english language and literature or english literature generally you can uh, message me in from a from any of these platforms okay now let's move on and have some details related to john crow ransom he was an american educator scholar literary critic poet and essayist and editor so he was in plenty he was basically an american okay his nationality is american and uh, he was an educator scholar literary critic poet essayist and editor he is considered he is considered to be a founder of new criticism school of literary criticism so he uh, he is considered as one of the founding members of this particular uh, branch of literary criticism known as new criticism he was the editor of kenyan review so kenyan review he, it was a popular academic uh, uh, journal and he was the editor he served as the editor of kenyan review and he published a work titled as the new criticism in 1941 so this is what i uh, about this i was telling in the Uh, in 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 the beginning of the video that you know he published a work known as the new criticism from this works title the particular literary criticism branch school of literary criticism got its name as the new criticism and this particular work he published in 1941 but he is not a key figure when we consider i r richards f r lewis and all he is not the key figure in it but uh, he is, was the one who Uh, published this kind of a work titled as the new criticism and he is considered to be one of the founding members of the branch of uh, the school of literary criticism known as new criticism okay this work gave the literary school its name and it is one of the key text of the school okay moving on let's have major concepts laid by uh, john crow ransom 
Ransom argued that criticism should be more scientific, objective and systematic. See, if you consider the previous age, John Crow Ransom uh, and New Criticism belong to the modern age or in the 20th century. But if you look at the criticism going on, literary criticism going on in Victorian age or generally in the 19th century, you can see personal kind of criticism are going on. Like, you know, the critic will be reading some work and his or her personal impressions will be shared in the form of literary criticism. And that, that kind of a critical approach or criticism approach to literature usually have a tendency to wander here and there. There won't be any scientific approach. There won't be any correct rules to follow. It, sh it won't be objective, right? So Ransom, he argued after seeing this tendency, he argued that literary criticism should be more like scientific uh, things. Scientific, it should be systematic. It should be scientific. It should be objective in nature. Rather than considering the critic's personal interest and all, you have to be more objective and follow rules and uh, more systematically you can approach a work while you are doing criticism upon that work. So that was the major argument made by John Crow Ransom in his works. Ransom's text, The New Criticism, proposed the following idea. So especially the pivotal work, The New Criticism, by Ransom proposed several other concepts by him. The first one is the text is the focus of closed reading. See, whenever you think of new criticism, try to imagine, try to understand and uh, memorize closed reading. This phrase, closed reading associated to new criticism as a major concept of this theory. Okay. So, the text is the focal point of closed reading. What you should read closely it is text you know in it in in considering in criticizing a text the text itself is the focal point and the text needs to be closed re, closed reading okay the analysis of a text has to be scientific and precise it should not be you know random it should not be so personal but it should be more scientific precise and like an objective activity you have to do analysis of a text should be done like that personal historical moral and biographical details around a text are all rejected in the field of new criticism see when you are exercising a scientific precise and objective close reading upon a text then you should avoid the personal historical personal in the sense uh, maybe your own emotions your own uh, you know uh, emotional appeals that you got after reading that work historical the historical background of the work moral purpose of the work uh, or the intention of the author or the biographical sketches and details around the text that is uh, also related to the biographical details of the writer so all these extra textual details you need to avoid when you close read a text and that is what important in new criticism not considering the personal historical moral or biographical details around a text but you need to consider the text closely and focus the text the interior of the text rather than any other extra textual details okay the next idea that he provides is that the idea was to take the focus of the reader to things inside a text rather than things outside of the text so new criticism is a particular literary theory or literary critical branch in which the reader or the critic actually leading the reader or the critic actually telling about the interior of the text that means the inside of the text rather than the outside of the text this idea is similar to I.A. Richard's closed reading approach so I.A. Richard also proposed most of the authors and thinkers of necroticism proposed closed reading so the idea of John Crow Ransom is more or less as same or similar to I.A. Richard's closed reading approach and focused upon the purity of the text and the purity of the act of reading so by you know suggesting a closed reading of a text without considering the biography and other extra textual uh, details that actually stand out of the text they actually focused and give more importance and emphasis to the idea that a text is pure that without knowing any of these ideas, any of these textual ideas, you can really understand and enjoy and criticize a text 
more fruitfully than knowing all these details and that's because a text is um, essentially its own a text is a kind of uh, thing that is self-sufficient and self-contented and it is pure and the reading the act of reading is also pure so they emphasize the purity of text and the purity of act of reading it serves an aesthetic purpose where a text becomes significant for the sake of itself see it is uh, you know while you close read a work while you close read a text it is actually this moral more than the moral purpose more than any other details related to the work the aesthetic the delightful purpose associated to a literary text is more or less served in a more significant way because the text is there and text becomes the focus point and significant thing there for its own sake the text is not important for the sake of the author the text is not here important for the sake of the biographical details or the uh, historical or background details that it has but the text becomes so important and significant for the sake of itself okay so that's how it can close reading of a text can serve the aesthetic purpose more than any other kind of reading okay Moving on, so these are the some major concepts that John Crow Ransom shared in his work. Now let's see some notable text by Ransom. I have given all the important ones. I hope you at least remember the titles and post the video, write it down. And while I read twice, you read along with me, okay? The first one is Chills and Fever, published in the year 1924. And the second one is God Without Thunder in the year 1931. See, he has written many works. I have just picked up the important ones from net point of view okay don't consider that he has written only these many works he has written many more essays and all but i just picked up the important ones okay the next one is the world's body the world's body in the year 1938 the new criticism so this is the important one here the new criticism 1941 a college primer of writing came out in the year 1943 and poems and essays in the year 1955 the kenyan critics Studies in Modern Literature in 1951, Poetic Sense, A Study of Problems in Defining Poetry by Content in 1971. So these are the important works. Let's read it again. Chills and Fever, God Without Thunder, The World's Body, The New Criticism, A College Primer of Writing, Poems and Essays, The Canyon Critic, Studies in Modern Literature, Poetic Sense, A Study of Problems in Defining Poetry by Content. So that's all about John Crow Ransom. This was not a lengthy video. So if you watch this video without skipping, then uh, I appreciate that because that is a great move towards your UGC Net JRF English Language and Literature. Whenever you are watching something that helps you in your Net JRF preparation of English Language and Literature, then do that in utmost sincerity okay so that is the first step then you have to take down notes so if you have any doubts and queries please mention that in the comment section along with your major takeaways so that i could get a satisfaction that you got something out of it and uh, that will also give our channel and i'll give them push to many more students as well so don't forget to visit my website as well as follow me on instagram id to have more free materials there and there in my website we are providing 900 plus audio lectures 300 plus downloadable pdf materials and also more than 3000 questions in the form of practice and previous question papers available there which are lively attemptable so uh, if you are interested to have this simplified study materials along with the offers and free bonuses that we are sharing there in the website you can join us as a student and be a part of us as be a part of a family and if you want to know more about you can directly message in this number or you can message me on my instagram id as well so that's all about this video thank you for watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to it if you are interested to have more contents related to ugc net english language and literature so guys let me meet you in the next video session until then stay tuned to high point and be happy